Okay, I have done something that none of you have ever done before. I read the sewing owner's manual of the sewing machine cover to cover. <laughs> yep, one day my wife brought home a brand new Bernina. Back in the old days when they were only $6,000, top of the line. And it must have been a slow day because I got out that owner's manual, and I usually don't read owner's manuals. I read it from cover to cover. And I remember reading the tension chapter, page 51. And right there it said, this machine is factory preset, talking about the tension, to sew with a 50 or 68 polyester sewing thread. And I read it again and again. It's that strange. My wife doesn't, she pieces with the 58 cotton. She doesn't sew, well, she doesn't do a lot of construction. She doesn't quilt with a 50 weight usually. She doesn't embroider with a 50 or 60 weight usually. That's the day the light went on. Your machines are sewing machines. It doesn't matter if they're quilting additions. It doesn't matter if they're embroidery machine additions. They are quilting machines. And these machines are made around the world for the world. And guess what? The world sews American Canada quilt. It's just that simple. We quilt first. The rest of the world sews first. Therefore, the machines are made for the world. And they're made to sew. Which means if you have a 50 or 68 polyester thread going through your machine, through that tension disc, it's going to be pretty snug. Most machines are set on a scale of 0 to 10. Is that familiar? Mm -hmm. On the average, all of our machines are at a 5. Many of the machines don't even tell us where they're at. How many have a thumb dial or a dial or a thumb wheel? Those are the easy ones because we know where they're at. If your machine is computerized, we don't usually even look at the tension setting, but it's at about a 5. And this is what it does. Ricky, will you help me for a minute, please? This is how your machine, out of the box, sews a 50 or 68 sewing thread. Your machine has two tension discs. These are my fancy traveling discs. One is fixed, one is adjustable. So what happens is out of the box, you're at a five. If you lower it down to a four, three, two, one, zero, you're loosening your tension. If you go from a five higher, it's gonna go real tight, real pressure on this, and thread runs through the tension disc. So Ricky is going to sew for us. 50 weight, 60 weight polyester, right out of the box, automatic tension, watch how it sews. Isn't that great stitching? Not too loose, not too tight. What would happen if it's too loose, by the way? How do you know when your top tension is too loose? Yes, the top thread loops on the underneath. It loops on the back. Now we're going to put a medium weight thread in here. Let's put a 40 weight thread in. So please double that one up. Does your machine know what we just did to it? Does it know if it's cotton, poly, silk, Metallic, not a clue. Doesn't know if it's fine or heavy. Watch what happens now. Automatic tension, because we're not changing it. Your machine doesn't know what we just threw at it. Now we put a 40 weight thread in automatic. Now watch. Make it go. <laughs> what's, what's going to happen? It breaks the thread. What do you blame? No, 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 you don't blame the machine. You blame the thread. I get your emails. You blame the thread. And I respond saying, okay, what needle are you using? Where's your tension set? And we can fix it. The tension is very, very important. This will do more for your success than anything else. You have all these threads at home. If they're a quality thread, choose the right needle. I guarantee tomorrow you're going to be dancing because you, now you can use a metallic thread. Or you can use glitter, a hologram thread, or a fine, delicate silk, or a fine, delicate cotton, or a heavy poly, all in the tension setting. On a scale of 0 to 10, we have about, well, we have over a dozen lines of thread. Probably about 20 types of thread by the time you take our medium heavy, light medium heavy silks, light medium heavy cottons, light medium heavy polys. We have about 20 different thread lines. The most common range where we set our top tension for these threads, 2 to 3.5. That's low. Your machine's at a 5. So what does automatic tension mean? Automatic tension setting means on your machine, if you engage the embroidery unit, your machine might automatically set the tension from a 5, maybe down to a 4.5, maybe to a 4. If you engage some decorative stitches, maybe it goes from a 5, maybe to a 4. The lowest I have seen any model go automatically is down to a 3.5. That's as low as it goes automatically. And guess what our high range is? That's our high range. That's the highest we ever go. Your machine automatically will not go down to a 3 or a 2. But that's where we sew. We're at a 2 to a 
Remember what I called that Rolls Royce of metallic thread? Our superior metallic? We have never found a machine in good working condition that will not run that thread. Guess what needle we use? Top stitch. What size? We go 90 on that one. Any machine brand, the first thing we do when we put a metallic on, we go extreme on the tension setting. We drop it to a one. Wide open. Because I don't want to pinch a metallic thread. And if you open that up to a one, there's just barely enough tension on it to keep it the right tensioned, and it goes through your machine, it won't pinch it, it won't flatten it out, you'll be amazed. Guarantee it's going to work. It works on every single machine. The right metallic thread, the right needle, tension to a one. That's the extreme. Now, just because we lower it to a one on the machines that we use, maybe your machine's okay at a two. Maybe your machine's okay at a two and a half on a metallic. Maybe your machine needs to go down to a 0 0.5 on a metallic. We're talking averages. One is where we average. Other threads, we're at a two, like Masterpiece, that delicate cotton at a two, all the way up to a three and a half. Are there any threads that we use at a five? Yeah, there are some. So fine. We usually don't have to do much on that one. But two to three and a half is the range on most threads. And there's a chart in your book that explains for all of our threads where they are. And we'll get to that later. It will tell you for every thread we have where we set the tension and what needle to use. That will do more for your sewing success, the tension, than anything else I can teach you. So forget everything else. Just go home, read your owner's manual, learn how to override the tension. You'll be amazed.